Hi there, um, my name is Pitchwood, and uh, today's two minute tasting is going to be this Verd Alber. Uh, sorry, I'll start again. Verd Albura. Uh, it's 2014, it's from the Emporia region of Spain. Um, now, this is actually the first wine we've done a, a second tasting video of, but unfortunately, the first one never made it to her because I was doing it with my former colleague James Lowe, and we couldn't stop laughing. Um, we just had this 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 day of trying to do the video on this, and it never, never, never happened. Oh, you're waiting for me to say something. <laughs> we shouldn't do this drunk. <laughs> I think we're be drunk better than this. Right, okay. So today, we are tasting Verde Albera from the Porto region in Spain. It's a blend of... <laughs> this, is, this isn't PowerPoint where it switches in from the side in some sort of lame... Uh, it's made by a family that have been making wine since the 12th century, and in the 60s they reinvigorated their vineyards, turned them into using modern wine techniques, which is basically cleaning. Um, <laughs> let's be honest, <laughs> using things like concrete vats, you know, just getting rid of all the old farmyard stuff and uh, embracing the uh, modern era again. So what you're saying is that the Spaniards are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that the wine. Let's do this again. <laughs> James thinks that they're all dirty Spaniards. No, right? they're dirty Italians as well. <laughs> Gaia started cleaning for the first time before we get <laughs> You know, just clean. It's that simple. Hi there, we're trying Verde Albera for the 15th time today. Uh, <laughs> and here we have a bottle of Chateau Le Chasselet. <laughs> Who'd have thought? 20 years ago today, we sat here drinking Chateau Le Chasselet. <laughs> And in the 1960s, they updated their vineyards with new <laughs> techniques. They get less information because we can't reach their place. It is 70% uh, muscat. It's not 70% muscat. It's <laughs> muscat. <laughs> Take I'm 70 ten. muscat now. Made by a family that been making wine since the 12th century. And in the 60s... You know, we've been making this video since the 12th century. It's from a family who've been making wine since the 12th century, and <laughs> the French are dirty as well. That makes their wines great. Okay, the French are dirty, the Italian are dirty, the Spanish are dirty. I can't do it. <laughs> it's wine. Okay, it tastes good. Just drink it. Okay, you don't need to know about all this crap. That we've now done for about twenty minutes. <laughs> so um, this, I'm I am without James, um, and um, and we're going to try this wine and see what it's like. And <laughs> it's corked. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's badly corked. Oh well. I hope it's nice. If, if you make it, I hope it's nice and I hope you've got a very successful company. But um, every time I try and do a video on this, it goes tragically wrong. Have a good day. Bye.